All right, so I wanted to introduce you to the mirror etching and glass painting and uh, resurfacing of mirrors and glass. It's actually uh, very enjoyable, uh, especially as an animator, uh, to create composite layers using glass. I've found uh, the, the glass panels serve a lot of really useful functions in an animation studio. Every, most illustrators or graphic designers are going to have uh, some f uh, sort of pad, a draw, uh, illustrator's pad, cutting, cutting pad. Uh, I don't know, there's, there's probably a proper name for this thing. Uh, it's just kind of my mass, mess catcher and keeps me from scarring up my tables too badly. I still cut on other things, but I, I prefer to do, if I'm going to do a lot of cutting, I'll do it on this guy. And so here you'll see that I, I, I use the glass panel uh, to, um, to protect that, actually, uh, or create a, a ruler surface. I'll show you that. Okay, very quick and simple demonstration here, but uh, let's just say you have a piece of vinyl that you want to cut. Um, I do this. And you can line up so that you get an exact line on the 15, say, or, um, you know, line up your material and cut along that line. And it's a nice straight edge, you know, it's just as good as a ruler. And you get to see your material behind it, so you're kind of always able to reorient if you need to. And uh, that's just a really, really great thing for me. Also catches uh, clay, you know, uh, well, and water will disperse off of it, of course. So you use maybe towels around it or something to catch your, your liquid. But um, you can then also use, a, I've been using a lot of caustic uh, materials and it's pretty safe on the glass. So it's a good backing. Okay, so oh. yeah, on glass, of course, you, uh, you have your mirror surfaces, which are uh, just glass, actually, with a uh, backing material. Uh, and the backing material usually looks more like this. It would be a gray or sometimes a reddish color. I've actually removed the red and the gray mostly off of this particular piece already. Uh, this is still obviously uh, fully back. And then these are salvaged, so these are upcycled mirrors from uh, a project. So um, grabbing them and uh, repurposing them, uh, reusing them. And so this is a smaller one with the back already uh, stripped. I stripped the paint off, which is quite a process. And this is the piece we'll be using today. So here's a standard mirror panel. Uh, I've removed stripped using a stripper, uh, removed the, the paint off of the back. That's just a protective coating over what's likely, uh, I guess, a copper or silver uh, lining uh, material and it um, can be etched or scratched off of there. So that's what we're uh, doing. But first we're going to apply a graphic so that uh, when we do then remove that material, the graphic vinyl lettering keeps that uh, reflective mirror in place. So you can remove around it to just glass and then have a reflective mirror on the inside of it. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to be, a, a, you know, sticking it on the back here, and then it's going to be reversed on the other side. All right, we're going wanting to go to the edge. I'm, I'm kind of just thinking to make a, a box in image. I'll show an example here. You go for something like this. I think it's a, a shape inside of a shape, and uh, that should be pretty effective for this as a. Uh, turned image. Alright, I'm just uh, prying up these corners of the uh, triangles and shapes so that I can remove them out and then that'll create, ooh, a uh, pretty nice line for coming in with an etch and removing the uh, mirror backing uh, from within these shapes. So if you're catching this online, thanks for joining. Hi, <laughs> I'm Nathaniel Jack Green. I am the chief imaginologist 
at Imaginology. An education marketing company in business since 1996 with the unique mission to improve the human condition. So we're trying to get it evenly distributed across all the surface area. It's actually a, the stripper is a 15 minute stripper. Um, so it's supposed to sit for 15 minutes before it's properly kind of set in or agitating the material enough to remove it. I have found that it, it starts to work pretty quickly because it's pretty strong stuff, but um, so I, I kind of work it in a bit as I go. And this is where the thinner does come in a little bit. If we add a bit of thinner, it tends to kind of activate and uh, extend the stripper a bit. Thinner also removes stickers though, so we do have to be careful about that. Again, trying to keep this vinyl on here. I was interested in uh, other approaches to this. <laughs> I think the first time that I did this, it was just in, with an illustration. Oh, uh, this sticker does not look like it's going to want to stay on. Boy. I have to work with that. It's coming off. Oof. Wow. Moving quick now with that stripper on there. Or the, or rather the moving quick with that thinner on there. So again, try to stay away from that logo. Let's see if we can at least get the outer edge. I guess we don't want to attack that edge too much. <laughs> They say to go in one direction only. Um, I don't find that to be as effective as going any direction that you need to to get some crud up. certainly lost this halo there. So the rest of it's not looking too bad though. Not overall terribly impressed with the result right now, but uh, it's not also not the result yet. I need to trust the process. I was just telling the boy yesterday. Our best boy here, Elliot. But sometimes it takes a while you get what you're trying to get done, accomplished, finished, what have you, all in time, in a step at a time. As long as you're continuing on that process, you're going to see the results accordingly. It does take some elbow grease and a hell of a lot of patience to do this. Um, and so it is a, a meditative process and uh, I, I can uh, suggest that you have to be able to appreciate that. One of the most important uh, classes for me uh, is art in all of my years of education, uh, through many years of education. Uh, simply in the f sense that it was a chance to meditate and um, be outside of uh, all of the busy thoughts in your head. Um, take a moment to allow uh, reflection <laughs> in your day. And at this point you can really see where the material is coming up, where it's not. Uh, much more definitively anyway. Can't exactly see it. The real reveal is on the other side, but you don't want to turn it over until you have to. Or you, you, you think that you're about ready, really ready, because getting all this back flipped over is 
a task. As this whole thing is, you see, again, lots of elbow grease, good hard work, resulting in a nice product, hopefully. Uh, at least appreciable for all the work that you put in, whatever it is. That's, uh, that's I think, the right mindset, right approach. Creating your art, you do it for a reason. You have a good reason. That's good enough. Let's take a look. Backwards logo, <laughs> of course, because did not invert it. And then you, you do start to see the logo, but it's a little faint. All right, so we have some more work to do here, cleaning up around the edges and getting the rest of that material off. I spent quite a bit of time doing that, but. Uh, then we want to mask off the areas where we don't want paint because we uh, like using spray paint. Uh, the way that it comes out uh, evenly and in uh, you know, small amounts, it means we get a, a nice even coat and <clears throat> don't have any brush marks on the finish. So here it is with a black and some green, uh, trying a sort of 50-50 split, uh, seeing what kind of results we get. Now here I've actually painted the very back side. I'm completely done. I didn't show you the, the little bit of pink that I put in there, but I think it turned out pretty good. I hope you agree and thanks for watching.